In this section, we'll examine how we as local and global societies down here on Earth engage with space up above. We do this by investigating space and astronomical sites with special interest in how sites here on Earth are enabling people to engage with other worlds and places. The different people and communities involved in the formation and use of these sites. And we will also be considering how these sites are contributing to the caring of country, both up in the sky and here on the land. We'll begin by examining three astronomical sites, the first of which is known as the 30 metre telescope. Led by a consortium of scientists in 2003, the most comprehensive site testing campaign ever carried out took place to find a home for the 30 metre telescope, or TMT for short. Over a five year period, measurements such as optical turbulence, water vapour, wind speed and air temperature were gathered for various sites all over the world. Uh, up until 2009, when the consortium determined that the mountain atop Hawaii called Mauna Kea was the most ideal location for the TMT. So when constructed, the TMT will be the largest ground-based observatory in the world. And it's intended to study every field of astronomy. Uh, this includes the dark ages or the time when the first sources of light and heavy elements uh, in the universe were formed, uh, the study of galaxies and really large scale structures in the early universe, uh, and also novel research areas such as black holes, planet formation and exoplanet uh, discovery. In terms of the Mauna Kea site, uh, it is a pristine, ancient, dormant volcano and is the tallest mountain in the world. The land's traditional custodians are the Kanaka Hawaii people who are indigenous to the lands and who have for generations protected and treated the mountain as a living temple. The site is the location of numerous shrines, ceremony and burial sites and is sacred to the Kanaka Hawaii people. The site is a conservation site and has been eligible to receive traditional cultural property status since the 90s, which would offer it protection from development. Despite this, the mountain has continually been developed since the 1970s and currently houses 13 telescopes. A 2005 environmental impact statement found that 30 years of astronomical activity on the mountain had, led, uh, had, had a substantial and adverse cumulative effect on its cultural and natural resources. So understandably, protests uh, against the construction of another telescope on Mauna Kea first began in 2014, and they've continued since then. Uh, this has led to cultural destruction, traumatic experiences for both the indigenous people and the scientific community involved. Um, it's had costly uh, delays to the construction of the TMT uh, and has ultimately ruined financial partnerships between um, the different organisations involved. Activists who are largely made up of the local uh, native Hawaiian community say that they are not protesting science or research in general, um, but they simply want their cultural values respected. So the Kanaka Away peoples, they've since submitted a petition to the United Nations um, and an outcome of this petition is um, we're still waiting for an outcome. Uh, and ultimately, this will help determine the fate of the TMT uh, and Mauna Kea going forward.